For years, we would make DHCP highly available by manually setting up two DHCP servers and each one would lease a different range of IP addresses. Every environment did this. That was the only way to make a highly available solution because this is a concern when it comes to high availability. If you have one DHCP server that lease addresses to all your Windows 10 clients, if that DHCP server goes offline, none of your clients obtain IP addresses, so they can't authenticate, they can't connect to servers, they can't connect to the network, nor the internet. So, an enormous loss of productivity is possible. Microsoft formalized a solution to really achieve what many of us have been doing for decades. The first solution is a split scope. A split scope means you have two DHCP servers and they're just configured with non-overlapping scopes, meaning the addresses don't overlap on DHCP server one and on DHCP server two. Manually, you could install DHCP on two servers and create two separate scopes. What's unique about this, this is an actual configuration on your DHCP servers that will automatically create the scope on the second server for you and let you configure this. So they really kind of formalized what we had been doing in the past just by manually setting all of this up. Now, this is not new. This has actually been around since 2008 R2. The other option, so completely separate options, split scope is one solution. The other is DHCP failover. With failover, you do not have scopes that have these non-overlapping addresses. You have a scope, the range of addresses it can actually lease it simply takes that entire scope and it replicates it to another DHCP server. So both servers have the same exact scope. Both servers lease the same IP addresses, but what they do is they communicate with each other. Server one knows what addresses have been leased by server two. Server two knows what addresses have been leased by server one, and they actually replicate an actual DHCP database between the two servers with all the information. This is the preferred solution, this DHCP failover. Now, this was introduced in server 2012. So, you know, not new, but very straightforward to configure. When you set this up, you have two options. One is a load balance mode. That simply means both servers lease IP addresses. So both are active at the same time. The other solution is hot standby. Hot standby mean one server leases addresses. The other server has a replica of that scope on it. It stays up to date with which computers have leased which IP addresses, but it is in a passive mode. Only if the active server goes offline does the hot standby actually fit in. This is the concept that we have long used in clustering. This load balance mode, in some context, it's referred to as active active and the hot standby is active passive. Simply meaning one server is working, the other one is just waiting for a failure so it can step in and serve clients.